Hi, I'm Ashley, nurse uh, faculty member here at the AFE, and today Julia is our patient, and we are going to do her nasolabial folds because uh, they bother her. So as you can see, she has some asymmetry here. She used to sleep on the left side of her face, so her fold on the left side is a little bit deeper. So we're gonna start on that side today and help fill it in a little. Um, I'm going to be using Juvederm Ultra. I'm not using the Plus because her fold isn't that deep. She's younger um, and she doesn't need a lot of correction in this area. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So you can just relax. I'm gonna measure my needle tip. Um, from the hub to the tip, and this is about the area that I'm gonna start in. I'm gonna go right through this fold, and she's already been cleaned off and numb topically. So I'm gonna go in, 45 degree angle in. We're going in the mid dermis. I am tenting up, and I like where I am. So I'm going to give her a little, let her numb, and then we're gonna do a slow retrograde injection down and I am going to fan over. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tent up again. Always wanna know where that needle tip is. And we are gonna do another slow retrograde here. And then I'm gonna come completely out on this one. And you can already see that it's starting to fill in this area. So I'm gonna continue down her nasolabial fold going from where I last, measuring from where I last injected. Going in, tenting up, I like my plane. I'm gonna continue to fill my slow retrograde. Coming all the way out, starting to look good. And I'm gonna go through at the end and um, smooth everything out and I'll show you that as well. I'll just have you relax a little. And again, tenting up and slow retrograde. Nice. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to look, and this is the area I'm going to go into. I'm measuring from the hub to the needle tip. A little pinch. And she doesn't need as much on this side. This side's not quite as deep. Like I mentioned earlier, she sleeps on the other side, so it's a little deeper. Just gonna look. Looking good. Do one more here. Tent. And when I'm tenting up, I'm looking for more of a blanket look versus a sheet or a comforter. So I don't want to be really deep and I don't want to be too superficial so I'm looking for that mid dermis area. All right so I'm going to go back to this left side and we're going to add a little bit more on this side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and measure and we're going to give her a little more through here. So always tenting, we're always aspirating, always want to make sure you're aspirating. We're tenting because we want to make sure that we're in the right plane. We're gonna do this slow retrograde injection. You always wanna make sure that you're giving the best injections and safest injections to your patients. I'm gonna fan over to this side, tent up. And I'm always watching, um, aspirate, always watching my syringe too to know how much filler I have left and how much filler I'm putting in a certain place. You always wanna know how much filler, how much product that you're using in a certain area. Um, that's important for patient safety and also for your documenting. I'm gonna have you smile. All right, and relax. So we always wanna make sure we're giving the safest treatment for our patients and most comfortable. Right. So add some more through here. We're almost finishing up this syringe. Looking good. Just gonna add a little bit more in through here. Again, tenting, aspirating, and then we're gonna do our slow retrograde injection. Fan over. Again, checking our plane. We're 
aspirating and retrograde. And that is the end of this syringe. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth things out. I'm just gonna use a little Arnica gel here. All right, so I'm gonna have you open your mouth. I'm gonna go in and I'm checking the placement of my filler here and just feeling for any lumps or bumps. It feels good. I'm gonna do her opposite side. And this will also help with um, anti-bruising. And she can leave this on. Feels nice and smooth. All right, and that is the end of Julia's treatment for her nasolabial folds.